Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, everybody? You know who it is and you know what I do. So I guess I got to get in here and I guess I got to start getting busy. Today, I'm going to talk about a problem that I see a lot on Facebook. Hold on, let me get a drink of water Folks, go to my Instagram. I got fitness tips for you guys. Bring a gallon of water a day. Cleans you out. Clears your face up. Cleans you out. That's a tip for the day. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Today I'm going to talk about some of the stuff, I, some of the ridiculous stuff I see on Facebook. I'm in a couple. I'm in a lot of groups. I appreciate what people put me in these. Some of these groups. Some of these groups are pure fucking stupid, but I digress. But I'm in this one group, and this one group, usually they don't talk about anything important, usually. They have nothing really to say. But uh, they had a good topic about, it was about black folks who don't like America leaving. And so there was the usual rhetoric, rhetoric and then like that. And it, it was a good conversation until, until the pro-blacks, until all the pro-black Illuminati weirdos crept into conversation, because then it exploded. The pro-blacks were like, you know, you know the usual, America's a corporation, which everybody should know by now. Uh, America doesn't love us, we this and that, and this and that, and this and that. And then the Illuminati weirdos come in, and I crept in, and I said, and I, I, and I like, I gave them the people's elbow. I said, well, if you hate America that much, if you have that much disdain for a place where you live, Ghana, Mugabe, who's taking land from farmers, from white farmers, so he should be happy. He's taking he's taking land from farmers. Goes out. There's many other countries who are offering you free land, free land. I'm not talking about this, you know, like a, a tract home somewhere. They offer you free land, and if they offer you free land, why aren't you taking your happy ass back to the motherland? And all of a sudden, here it goes. Oh, well, and this, and this one guy, Justice real quick. He had some, he had the, like a, a real, really terrible excuse. He said, well, you have to pay a tax, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I'm like, number one, if you work in America, of course you're going to have to pay a tax if you leave. Uh, let's say, let's say I up and moved that to Africa right now. This is uh, April. So I up and moved the, the, the Africa right now. Well, I have three months that I worked in America. I have three months of taxes that I have to pay or that I'm due. That's just the fact of life. Of course you're going to pay taxes. See, a lot of these black folks, they, 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 they get you all pumped up because it's all rhetoric and it's like they get you all emotional because you're down on your luck. You hate America. You're behind the wheel. You're fronting for the picture for Facebook. You're not, that's how you feel. But when I saw this, the lie he was spreading, a couple of guys were spreading, I'm like, no, you don't. What you do is you go over there, you, you, you renounce your citizenship, get the papers and become a citizen of that country, and then if you come back to America, you know you owe taxes, pay them. And make sure you get a passport so you won't end up like what happened in the situation with most staff. That's all you gotta do. But I'll, well, clearly you don't understand the process. Well, I'm like, clearly I do understand the process. Clearly, I know people who have done the process. I know people who renounced their citizenship and moved to England. But you know what? You guys aren't going to move to Africa, and I know you're not going to move to Africa, or you, or, or, or you know, or the usual, or the usual tap dance. Well, all right, there bring us in Africa. All right, okay. So what? You bring, you bring fucking ten daishikis over here, and you sell them at the flea market. Whoa! Huzzah for you. The fact remains. None of you guys, and I, and, I put a, and I put your asses to task on this. None of you guys are moving to Africa, so you can you can you can miss me with all that other. Well, you don't understand the process. We're not your citizenship isn't fucking hard. You can do that when you can do that when you go to Canada. You can do that go to Mexico. Do that. Say I renounce my citizenship. Just make sure you're a citizen of that country and have a passport so you get back into the country. But all this is a. And this is what I tell you folks. 
listen to a lot of these hustlers over here because like, they want to get you emotionally involved. But if you really listen to it, like if I'm thinking to myself, these people can't be stupid to really believe that they're right. And a lot of you believe them. I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, then the one person says, well, you do have to pay taxes. No shit, you worked in America. You owe something. What, what the fuck? The, you know, the lot of you got the, like, the handout mentality. You want something for free. Like I said, that's why none of you pro blacks, none of you black Illuminati creepos, none of you freakazoids are going to come back and say nothing to me because you know I'm 100% right. I will never see you boring a Qantas to Joe Berg. I won't see you boring a Qantas to Cairo. Let me, let me put it this way. And here's, and here's the 100% the truth. You, you'll move to Australia and the United Kingdom and to Canada before you move to Africa. You wanna know why? Because they're all westernized like you're a black ass. That's the real truth. None of y'all moving to Africa. And the ones that do move to Africa, they're mostly retirees and minor business. There's none of these ones protesting, hopping up and down. I'm mad about America. I didn't get my reparations. Y'all ain't going to Africa. You moved to Canada before you moved to Africa. And you know I'm telling the truth. That's why I pay you guys no mind, and anybody who pays you guys mind, I blame, they're, they're stupid. They're stupid. You know what that came up to me? Well, why, why would you move to Africa? I have no reason to move to Africa. My ancestors died for this land. My ancestors fought in war for this land. And then here comes, well, your ancestors fought in wars for a country. And I'm like, you know what, like, shut up. Because a lot, this a, lot, a lot of you guys just don't know what you're talking about. You're just mad because you're mad. A lot of you guys think you wear a nice little suit and tie, and you can talk some slick stuff, and a lot of these dummies believe it because a lot of these dummies haven't been anywhere. And I'm going to call it like it is. A lot of these people have not been anywhere. And if you know what that quote means, it's the old, the old folks you say all the time. I'm not going to explain it to you. Ask somebody who's an older gentleman or a lady. They haven't been anywhere and haven't seen anything. And so they believe all this. They get you all hyped up. And like I said, most of these people are losers, so birds of a feather flock the fuck together. So... Please, pay attention. If somebody tells you they hate America, and yeah, with the Ghana story, and it's the Ghana this situation is still true, by the way. You can still move to Ghana and get free land. But you're not moving again, you wanna know why? Because you won't even leave the fucking west side. Fuck out of here, please. <laughs>